Hi, I'm Laura Coyle, and today I have a workflow for cleaning up artwork in Adobe Illustrator. So let's say you have scanned or shot some artwork with your phone and vectorized it. In this workflow, I'll show you a three-step process that will help you clean up all the excess and make it much more efficient to work with while still keeping some of that organic character and texture from the original art. So let's take a look. This butterfly art that I'm gonna clean up is from my friend Teresa, and she created this with the Adobe Capture app. And it's a black and white capture shape. And this is similar to what you would get from Illustrator's image tracing feature. The result is artwork that's often very complex, maybe needlessly complex. And then we also have a lot of little flecks in here and grit that we wanna get rid of. So we're gonna go through this step by step and clean up the butterfly on the left here and then we're gonna use the one on the right for comparison. And I've put the number of paths and anchor points here so we can gauge how well we do with our cleanup. And you can get this information in the document info panel and you can open this panel from the window menu. So in the document info options, you'll just select objects. And then of course, you'll need to have your art selected. And then it tells us we have 2,357 paths and 14,794 anchor points. So let's see if we can clean this up. All right, so for step one, I'm gonna use a script and I'll go up to the file menu and down to scripts. And don't get discouraged if you haven't used scripts before, it's actually really easy. A lot of them are free and I have a video linked below that will walk you through the steps to install it. And I think this is the best approach for getting rid of all those tiny paths and all that grit. I don't think that there's something comparable inside of Illustrator that can do this. So we're gonna use a script called select paths by size and I'll link this below the video so you can get it too. And one of my Illustrator friends, Sandy, told me about this and it's a really good script. So I'm gonna go ahead and release on this to launch. And this is gonna bring up a dialog box which I have to drag into the window here. And we can choose to select paths that are smaller than whatever size we set. And then we wanna check size here. And for this art, I'm gonna set it to four pixels so we can find anything that's smaller than four pixels. And of course, it will be different for your artwork. I just went in here and selected a couple of these spots to get an exact idea of how big they were. I also need to check include compound path items, and that's because this whole butterfly is a compound path. All of these white shapes here are punched through holes, and even the tiny white flecks, those are holes too. So we definitely want that checked. And now I'm gonna click OK, and we can see it's working pretty fast. Sometimes it takes a little longer, but oh, there it is. Okay, so it's gone through all of the paths in six seconds. That's very fast. So it, it could go longer. It's just up to your artwork. All right, so I'm going to click OK, and we can see quite a few selected paths here. So I'm gonna start nudging them down with my arrow key on the keyboard just to get them out of the way. And yeah, it's already looking a lot cleaner, but I, I just wanted you to be able to see how much of the stuff we got out of there. Now, when I tap delete and go back to the butterfly and look at the document info panel, we're now down to 159 paths. So that really did a lot of work there. And we now have 6,453 anchor points. So way less than 14,000, but still we need to clean this up further. So our next step is to use Illustrator's simplify feature so that we can remove more anchor points because there's a lot of needless points in there. So let's go first, selecting the butterfly, and we're going up to the object menu, path, and then simplify. Now, when you first open this panel, you may see a tiny little strip with a gear icon. So click on that gear icon in order to get the full dialog box with all the settings. It's much better to work this way. And then you can just check this box down here so you can always get back to this dialog with all the settings. Now in the middle of the dialogue, we have data here, 6,000 something anchor points. And with the current level of simplifying, we're getting down to 1,700-ish anchor points. So make sure that you have preview checked and then you can use this slider and you can go down to see what happens when you really simplify it a lot or go up and just do a light reduction in anchor points like this. 
So I'm going to set mine kind of around the middle of the slider because I want to preserve some of the character in the art. And then under corner point angle threshold, this is really up to the style of art that you're looking at, whether you want more smooth corners or more sharp corners. So I'm just going to put mine somewhere in the middle and then I'll click OK. And we've reduced the number of anchor points even further. So we went from something like 6,000 and now down to 1,500 something. So that's step two. And for step three, we're going to do some selective smoothing of these paths here to remove the jagged look. And we're going to do that using the smooth tool and the newer feature, the smooth slider. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe. And I also have an email list. You can join that and I'll send you my best illustrator tips twice a month. So the smooth tool works kind of like a brush. And you can just use it to drag along a path like this. And you can set its tolerance by double clicking on the tool. And then when you drag the slider to the right, you get smoother paths with fewer anchor points. Or you can let it keep more anchor points by going towards accurate. And I'll click OK. So that's one way to work with this tool. It's been around a long time. But another way to work with this tool is by selecting points. So let's say we can select a region here. And we're going to do this using the lasso tool. So here I'm going to select this area that's pretty rough. And we can see the blue anchor points. Those are the selected anchor points. And now I'm going to get the smooth tool just by clicking on it. And the slider pops up, allowing you to smooth the selection by a percentage. And it ramps up pretty quickly, smooths everything out. But if you go down to zero, you can just nudge up to a lower number to keep some of that character. And then you can go all the way up to really distorting it. So I'm going to come down here where I just want a little bit of that wave in there. And that's 8%. Now I'll look for another area that we can smooth out. And I'll draw a lasso around this. Then clicking the smooth tool. And just a tiny bit works there. Great. Now this time I'll tap Q. That's the shortcut for the lasso. Go click on the smooth tool. And I'll add just a little smoothing there. 9%. And that's great. Now I'll zoom out. And the edge of this wing here is really rough. So I'm going to lasso all the way around that part of the path and smooth it out just a bit there. I don't know. I just love doing this. It's so easy. Okay, here's a really rough area. And lassoing around that. And it's just like smooth it. And a little bit over here, we can just quickly smooth it out. Not destroying the character too much. And this is quite a transformation. Now there's a few more areas to do, but with those first two automatic processes, the select path by size script and using object path simplify, we got those big jobs done quickly. And then the smooth tool let us do the fine tuning. And the result is 157 paths and 1,362 anchor points. So this art will be a lot faster to work with uh, because we're not bogging down Illustrator, especially you know if you're working on a pattern where you're repeating this over and over again. We had almost 15,000 anchor points to start with, so we've really optimized this. And the result is not too smooth. It still has that original character and texture we started with. So I hope you found this helpful and you'll incorporate some of these techniques into your own workflow. My name is Laura Coyle and I teach Adobe Illustrator here on YouTube and in my online learning community because I love helping artists and designers work more efficiently and more confidently in Adobe Illustrator. You can find out more on my website at lauracoylecreative.com. Thanks for watching.